Right in the heart of the Paris 2024 Olympics, Femke Bol delivered a jaw-dropping performance that left everyone stunned. With the rain pouring down at Stade de France, Bol's blazing final lap of 47.93 seconds turned the mixed 4x400M relay into an unforgettable spectacle, snatching gold from the US team who had just set a world record. Can you believe how she turned the race on its head in those final moments? Ball showcased her exceptional speed and determination as she anchored the Dutch team to victory. The Netherlands clinched gold with a time of 3 minutes and 7.43 seconds. The Paris 2024 Olympic Games have been nothing short of spectacular, showcasing incredible athleticism and heart-stopping moments. Among the many thrilling events, the mixed 4x400M relay has emerged as a highlight captivating audiences with its unique format and fierce competition. This event, which features teams composed of two men and two women, not only tests speed and endurance, but also the strategic acumen of each nation's best runners. As fans packed the Stade de France, anticipation for the mixed 4x400M relay final was palpable, especially with the backdrop of a world record set by the US team just the night before. Adding to the dramatic atmosphere was the weather. Rain began to fall inside the Stade de France, creating a slippery and challenging track for the athletes. The slick conditions added an extra layer of unpredictability to an already high-stakes race. The sight of athletes powering through the rain, determined and undeterred, only heightened the sense of drama and excitement. Every step, every baton exchange was crucial and the rain made the performance of each athlete even more commendable. Britain have won bronze in the 4x400 meters mixed relay. As the race began, Eugene Omala took the lead for the Netherlands. Omala's performance was nothing short of impressive, completing his leg in 45.3 seconds and positioning the Netherlands strongly right from the start. His powerful and controlled run set a solid foundation for his teammates to build upon. The energy in the stadium was electric as fans cheered on their favorite teams, and Omala's run gave the Netherlands a promising start. Next up was Lika Klaver, who continued the momentum with a commendable performance. Klaver clocked in at 49.3 seconds, maintaining the Netherlands' competitive position in the race. Her smooth baton exchange and consistent pace were crucial in keeping the Netherlands within striking distance of the lead. As Klaver passed the baton, the excitement grew and the Dutch team's hopes were high. Isaiah Klein Ekink took the baton for the third leg, delivering a crucial run with a time of 44.90 seconds. Ekink's performance was pivotal, setting up Femke Bowles' anchor leg with a fighting chance for gold. His determined sprint narrowed the gap between the Netherlands and the leading teams creating a suspenseful atmosphere as the race reached its final stretch. The Dutch team's strategy and execution had put them in a strong position, but the final leg would determine everything. Meanwhile, the US team showcased their exceptional talent and strategy. Vernon Norwood started strong, passing the baton first and giving the US an early lead. Shamir Little followed with a solid 49.4 second split, despite the challenging conditions. Bryce Dedman's third leg was a powerful display, maintaining the U.S. lead and setting up Kaylin Brown with a significant advantage for the final leg. Brown extended this lead further, making it seem as though the gold was within grasp for the U.S. team. Femke, congratulations. I have to ask, how do you break a world record so comfortably? As the final lap of the mixed 4x400M relay began, the U.S. team was in a commanding position. Kaylin Brown had taken the baton with a significant lead thanks to the strong performances of her teammates Vernon Norwood, Shamir Little, and Bryce Dedman. The U.S. team seemed destined for gold, having maintained their lead throughout the race despite the challenging, rainy conditions. The crowd watched with bated breath as Brown entered the final straight, her stride powerful and seemingly unstoppable. But then, something remarkable happened. Femke Bol, running the anchor leg for the Netherlands, was not about to let her team settle for anything less than a medal. With a split time of 47.93 seconds, Bol showcased extraordinary determination and speed. Her mindset was clear. This was her moment for redemption after the heartbreak of the 2023 World Championships. Bol later said, I just went for it. 
We just wanted a medal this time. We just wanted a medal. Well, we got gold. It's absolutely crazy for a small country like us. No, <laughs> I must say the last 50 is never easy, but uh, I learned this in this season that even though I feel... As Bull entered the final 200 meters, she began to close the gap on Brown. The rain continued to fall, but it seemed to fuel Bull's resolve. With every stride, she inched closer, the roar of the crowd growing louder with each passing second. The determination on Bull's face was unmistakable. She was driven by the memory of her fall in Budapest and the desire to make her teammates and country proud. The tension in the stadium was electric as Bull charged down the final stretch, eyes fixed on the finish line. In the last few meters, Bull's incredible speed and sheer willpower propelled her past Brown. It was a dramatic and thrilling comeback, one that left the audience in awe. Bull crossed the finish line in 3.07. 43, securing the gold medal for the Netherlands and setting a new European record. The US team finished just 0.31 seconds behind, a testament to their strong performance. But it was Bull's heroics that stole the show. The image of Bull crossing the line, drenched in rain and triumph, will be remembered as one of the standout moments of the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. After the race, Bull was understandably emotional, Reflecting on her journey and the race, she said, I channeled my anger from Budapest, and I saw my teammates cheering for me. Her words captured the mix of relief, pride, and joy she felt after such a stunning victory. Bowles' performance was not just about speed. It was a demonstration of resilience and redemption. The Netherlands team celebrated jubilantly, their faces lit with smiles and tears of joy. The victory was especially sweet given their disappointment at the previous World Championships. The entire team, Eugene Omala, Lieke Klaver, Isaiah Klein Ekink, and Femke Boll hugged and congratulated each other. Their hard work and teamwork having paid off in the most spectacular way. The gold medal was a testament to their dedication and determination. On the other hand, the US team, despite their disappointment, handled their silver medal with grace. Vernon Norwood, Shamir Little, Bryce Dedman, and Kaylin Brown had given everything they had, and their world record in the preliminary round was a remarkable achievement in itself. Brown, reflecting on the race, said, Look, a world record and even the opportunity of having an Olympic medal is one in a million. So whether it was gold, silver, or bronze, the fact that we're here is amazing. Just a year before, at the 2023 World Championships, Bull experienced a heart-wrenching moment that could have defined her career. In the final leg of the mixed 4x400M relay, as she was leading the Netherlands towards what seemed like a sure victory, Bull fell within the last five meters of the race. This unfortunate tumble allowed the US team to surge ahead and claim the gold, while the Netherlands failed to even make the podium. It was a devastating moment for Bull and her team but it also set the stage for an extraordinary comeback. The significance of the Netherlands' victory in Paris cannot be overstated. For a small country to achieve such a monumental win in an event dominated by powerhouses like the US is a testament to their determination and talent. The Dutch team's triumph was not just a victory in a race, it was a statement on the global stage. Bowles' performance, combined with the efforts of Eugene Omala, Leka Klaver, and Isaiah Klein Ikink, showcased the Netherlands' ability to compete with and beat the best in the world. It was a proud moment for the country and an inspiration to athletes everywhere. When we look at the records and milestones from the race, the achievements are even more impressive. The Netherlands set a new European record with their time of 3.07.43 just 0.02 seconds shy of the world record. This performance was a significant improvement and highlighted their growth and potential. The US team, which had set the world record the night before with a time of 3.07.41, also performed admirably, but had to settle for silver. This juxtaposition of records, the US breaking the world record in the preliminaries and the Netherlands setting a European record in the final, added an extra layer of excitement and competitiveness to the event. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.